Hi, I'm Vinod Pandey and I was thinking uh, about different development programs uh, either by government, either by NGOs, uh, charity organizations or by corporate social responsibility or any other international organization on one side. On the other side, I was looking into that how these development programs are able to work on poverty. Uh, when I talk about poverty, it means that how these development programs are actually able to take people out of poverty. And when I was looking into different development programs, I was uh, looking into the budget and expenditure of these programs. And I was looking into this uh, people who got benefit from the programs. Uh, though there are different claims that through different development programs, so many people are able to come out of the poverty. But on the other side, if you look into, for example, if you look into the Oxfam report or if you look into the different other reports, it says that a big chunk of uh, resources are owned by a small percentage of rich people. It means that the inequality between uh, poor and rich is increasing. So, if development programs are actually working, then this gap between rich and poor should not be increasing but rather than increasing it should be actually decreasing but it's increasing so it indicates that somewhere uh, poor people are still not able to afford to solve the problems whereas rich people they are able to afford to solve the problems and that's why this gap is increasing what I want to say here is that because of, uh, I might be wrong, but this is just a one view and opinion that, and there's a need of lot to do a lot of research on it, that there's so much of investment in problems, for example, on health, education, unemployment, that these problems become so costly that for the poor people, it's difficult to afford. Uh, whereas for rich people, it's like easy to afford and they're meant every year the expenditure or the budget on uh, addressing these problems is increasing, which in reality should be actually decreasing. But when you increase the expenditure on the problems, the problem will become costly and the poor will not be able to afford. What is happening is um, somewhere most of these development programs rather than focusing on people to people or individuals to take them out of poverty is more of a like a, a very uh, a complex structure of programs where investment is on this structure, investment is all on this bureaucracy investment is all in this delivery and not in the people so people remain poor whereas expenditure on this entire complex structure delivery functioning operation is increasing and the people who are in this uh, structure or this uh, entire uh, system they actually are getting benefit not the beneficiary and every year you have to increase your budget so people in the system or structure actually gets a benefit not the poor and because of this increase in this in, in the investment because of uh, increase of the investment to address these problems the problem become costly i could give one example like for example in um, agriculture uh, what happens this all technology this uses of chemicals and everything has come so because of this the input cost in agriculture has increased and now when input cost in agriculture has increased who can afford ag agriculture only big farmers and a majority of farmers in India are the poor farmers or the marginalized farmers so they can't afford so when they can't afford agriculture, what they are doing? They are migrating to cities and doing the uh, wage worker uh, uh, kind of uh, work. And these people uh, are like surviving on a very bare minimum kind of uh, cost. 
also they are leaving their main source of livelihood so who can now afford agriculture is only the big farmers who can actually uh, buy a high cost of uh, high in input cost uh, who can afford this who can take this kind of a risk whereas poor cannot in a similar way if you look into uh, this entire health as an issue so there's a lot of investment on a health uh, especially on the system that uh, for example phc to the big hospitals research and all those but what is happening uh, how many people are actually getting benefit from these hospitals so what happen you invest in the system and structures and when the system and structure is not working people are going to the private hospitals so when they visit a private hospital or a private doctor the cost for addressing the health issue is increasing in the same way for education there are so many government schools but what happen this entire system or structure is not working so the schools are not functioning well and that's why people are sending their children to the private schools and when you send your children to a private school you have to pay high fees you have to send them to the tuition you have to buy books uniform and many other cost so rather than addressing the issue of education actually we are increasing the cost of education so somewhere government ngos charities organization corporate social responsibility people uh, private firms international organizations need to look into that do they really need to invest on programs or do they really need to invest on people so investment on people when you actually invest on people to increase their income and income when we is not about set a poverty line of a 1 dollar or a 0.5 dollar per day kind of a thing set a poverty line at least where someone could afford a like 10 dollar per day kind of a thing and when you when with your programs people could be able to earn that much somewhere then people will be able to afford to address these problems yes there's a need of a structure there's a need of system but on the other side there's a need of investment on people so until and unless development programs focus would not be on improving a structure not on not be on uh, investing on a people i think it's very difficult that these programs will work we keep on saying that so many people have come out of the poverty but it's mainly because of the inflation and uh, what was the price of uh, milk 10 years back and if you compare the price of milk now and then you say that people have come out of the poverty i think that's a wrong uh, calculation what we require is that we need to uh, uh, have investment on people in, somewhere not investment on problems uh, if we keep on increasing budget to address the problem and not solve the structural issue of this bureaucracy delivery and all problems will be becoming costly and it only rich people could be able to afford this problem and poor will become more poor so let's not make problems rich let's make people rich thanks